Hey guys, welcome back. Sometimes your users want you to build a click app which is super customized and honestly, it's not click strength. But you know what? Somehow using variables and buttons and things like that, try to make click very, very, very user friendly and customizable. Something like a regular website, right? This is what it is. This is one of the requests. What the user really wanted was this is a table where selections are to be made. And here it says no selection is made in table one. So this is table one and the user, once they make a selection, the color changes and it says click here to show the details. So now I make a selection in my product and then click here when a new table shows up with the details for the selection that I made. The first table is hidden and now the second table shows you the details. And if I wanna go back, I just do clear and it goes back. Super customizable, super cool, right? It could really help y'all stick around and um, let's get into it. Yeah. So let's start from scratch. What do we need? First, we need a table where the user is going to make a selection first. And then we need another table which shows the details of the selections made, right? And then what we need is we need two buttons. One is to switch from table one to table two and also give the users like a little bit of a description, right? To say, hey, you haven't made any selections. So the color is like grayed out or something. And uh, once you make the selection, you click on the button that makes the selection table to be hidden and it shows you another table. And then you have another button to clear it, right? These are the different aspects that we would need to build. It's gonna be simple, but uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna use variables. We're gonna just like, you know, try a way out. I mean, I know that click is just not that super user friendly uh, from the get go. But sometimes you want the flexibility of like a of like a regular web page, but uh, unfortunately you're stuck with Click, so we just need to make use of the features that Click has just to get around it, right? Um, all right, so let's start. What is the first thing we need? Well, first thing I'm gonna add a container. Okay, so I can add two tables here and show or hide them, right? Um, so I've done several variations of this uh, in the Click course. So check the link in the description for it. Um, you will learn a lot and students are really loving it. Um, and I'll also have the cheat codes to how to do this in the click front end cheat sheet. So check the link for that as well. I'm gonna add a table here. Good, good. Now this one, let's call it table one. That is the selections. This one, let's call it table two details. Now let's add in the things that we want. That is in the table one, I want product, product name, okay? That's about it. I mean, do whatever you want. Uh, I'm just, you know, this is just an example, right? In, in table two, here I want all the details. So I'm gonna say order date and amount, Good. So essentially when the user makes a selection for the product, only then I want table two to be shown, which has all the details for that particular product that has been selected. And when no product is selected, then I don't want table two to be shown. Okay. So this is the premise. This can have a, this can have several use cases. Like you might need to make a selection first, which shows in a lot of details from another table, right? So that was actually one of the user requests that I got. So that's what gave me the idea to do this. All right, so now we have these two and the way we're gonna control it is with two buttons, okay? So first let me add one button here. This is going to be the main button and the other button is, well, that, that is to, just to clear it so that we reset it, okay? Step one, I want somebody to make a selection in product. So when the selection is not made in a product, I want this button to say, hey, first make a selection and then click on this, okay? So let's change that part and we'll add the color as well. That is, let's go here and let's say, let's go into appearance, general, label, instead of button, let's say that if a selection is made in the product, then I want this to say, you have made a selection, so click here. Otherwise I want it to say, no selection has been made, right? So we can use an if statement, right? So we let's say if get selected count, we can use this function for our field, what is the user field that I want? That is product. So here I'm gonna say if user makes a selection, so get selected count for the product is greater than zero, 
then in that case i want you to type here to see product detail otherwise i want it to say please make a selection product okay let's click on apply good now it says please make a selection in the product first if i make a selection in the product it says click here to see the product detail great step one is done now we could make this a little bit better that is change the color i could go into my label i could copy this then i'm going to go into styling background color inside background color i'm going to say expression i'm going to go into expression i'm going to put the same expression over here i'm going to remove this and say if the user makes a selection then in that case i want it to be blue so the rgb colors is rgb blue is 0 0 128 if the user doesn't make any selection then in that case I want this to be, let's say, like grayed out, right? So like gray. So 128, 128, 128. Apply. And now you see that this is the, oh, I want the whole thing to have this color. So this is not just background. That is, I'm going to go into chart. And here it is by expression. And in the chart expression, I'm going to say this. Good. Apply. Now, please make a selection in the product first. Uh, let me just remove this. Good. So please make a selection in the product first. When the selection is made, the color turns into blue and, this, and the writing also changes to click here to see the product details. Great. So now when I click here, nothing is happening, right? That's because we haven't connected the button to our tables. Great. Now I need a variable. Why? Because I need to make these two to interact with one another, right? So I'm going to go into variables. I'm going to say create. I'm going to say here, um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to say, and I'm not going to give it any value because I want the value to come from the button. So I'm going to say done. Here, when the user clicks on this button, I want to give the variable a value. That is, I go to go, I go here, I say action. Let's go back here, set variable value. And the variable is we select. Variable value is, I'm just going to give it as one now, okay? So essentially what happens when I click on this, the variable gets a value of one. Let me put a KPI here and here I'll say V select dollar expanded. All right, apply. This is just for you to have a look at what ha what's happening. So now when I click on this, the variable has got a value of one. I want the user to first make a selection here, right? So I want this particular table to be hidden when the user makes a selection and then clicks on this button i want i want this particular table to be shown what happens here when i click on product the button color changes and i say click here to see product detail and when the user clicks here the variable gets the value of one right so here i go to this particular table over here i have show condition and here show condition i say v select is equal to one then in that case i want this particular table to be shown otherwise i don't want this to be shown now in this particular button i'm going to say this particular button i'm going to give it a name as well let's just say clear and then over here i want this particular button to give the same variable a different value why because now the variable has one the detail table is going to be shown and then I want to clear it off whatever selection the user has made. That is the product and then whatever value is here. So first I'm going to say clear all selections or I could also say clear selections in field. So I'm going to say clear all selections and then add another action. And over here I'm going to say give the variable a value that is exactly the same. And here the value I'll say two or zero or whatever. So now it is, oh, sorry select the val variable name and then say zero good done now what happens now i say clear and the variable has a value of zero right because this button gives the variable a value of zero this button gives a variable value of one when i say clear and since i said show condition for this table so here show condition for this table is if we select is equal to one, then this table is seen. So whenever I say clear, we select is zero and this table is not seen. Perfect. Let's do the same thing for this. That is when the user makes a selection and then clicks on this, 
we select will be one. So we can say show condition for this is zero. So if the we select is one, the table number two with details shows up. And if we selection is zero, table number one shows up because you want the user to make a selection in table one and then move to table two. So here I go in and just like this, we select is equal to one. Let's go back here and show condition if we select is equal to zero. Good. I think I think we're there. I think that's all we need to do. So now table one is shown. Why? Because we select is zero. That means that no selection has been made here, right? Now I click on a product. What happens? It says the color of this button changes and it tells the user, hey, click here to see the product details. Okay. The user clicks here. Now the value of the variable changes to one. Therefore, the details table is shown because I've said show condition for this particular table is if the value of V select is equal to one. And now as this table is shown, it shows me all the details for the product that the user has selected. Fantastic. Now I'm happy this your user wants to go back. They click on clear, which gives V select zero. That means the show condition for table one is now activated and um, table two disappears. So now the user can make another selection, make another selection, click here and the details comes for that particular selection that is made clear and it's done. Pretty cool, right? Just playing around with variables and buttons. I think it's really cool. I thought this would be helpful. I have some scripts on ChatGPT. Check it out. I'll have this as a script itself so that you don't need to look at the video and do it. You can just download the script, use it. It's available for free in my, in the Click Masterclass. So it's well the video as well as the script is available automatically there as always. So check it out. Um, I would super, super appreciate if you left a like. Yeah, check out the links below and please leave a like. Super appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.